Alrighty guys, I'm Casey and welcome to a brand new series here on the channel. Welcome to a Let's Build series. Now I'm going to be doing a few of these Let's Build series with the idea of building up various different things. We're going to start with a medieval town. That's kind of what I want to build up, like a medieval town slash city. And I want to talk a little bit about where we are in the world that we're in to sort of introduce this episode and then to show you around this thing here. So, let's start with the world. This world was created uh, about four years ago in a mod pack called Design Tech 2. When we first created this, my friends and I, we spent a lot of time in this world. We built up a lot of stuff. I've got an entire base, you know, you can see. Uh, we've got a full ME system here with quite a lot of um, different things in it. You know, we've got a lot of resources available to us. And I spent a lot of time learning modern Minecraft in this pack. You know, my, my base goes underground here. Uh, you can tell I wasn't such a good builder back then. But if we go under here, you can see this was my original base. I've got like my equipment room here. Uh, we go over here. This was my original AE room. Uh, I've, I'm emptying out this ME system at the minute. I'm sending all the stone to the new one. Um, you know, over here we've got mob farms that just could do with being turned off because you know we're sort of there's nowhere to send these items to at the minute they used to be but uh, unfortunately you know let's just uh, disable the energy conduit there and that should probably power down uh, these spawners I'd imagine uh, just to reduce a little bit of lag I didn't think about doing that before but yeah I've got a, a huge reactor here Nope, not here. Uh, that used to be a mechanism room, but I've since moved the mechanism units. Uh, is it here? I've got a big reactor full with jello cryothium uh, to sort of keep it cool. Uh, that sort of powers my base. We've got uh, the remains of my original base. This is where I first started uh, when I started Design Tech over here. It, it was in this room. This was this was my mob sort of killing room. We had each different kind of mob in these and I really do kind of like this room uh, I may do something similar to this in the near future um, and in here was actually my original storage room where I had all my machines and stuff and all my storage and stuff um, then in here was I mean it's a nether portal now but it used to be uh, this is part of a new, the new base that I started working on I started working on a new base recently as you can see my ME system is up here uh, and that's glass. Again, all my storage. Uh, but I don't want to build like a new modded series. Because um, I, 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 when you play modded Minecraft, you always do the same thing. You know, you always go down the same uh, path. And we are doing some modded series on the channel. Don't worry about that. There will be some. But I want to do a building series in a modded world. And I really, really want to do it. And I've spent so much time in this world that it feels a shame to sort of let this world go. Uh, over there, you can see Jace's uh, wall for his castle. Uh, he's a friend who's been playing on the server. And we'll be doing some interactions with him uh, with some role play as well. Um, when I very, very, very first started on this world, this was my house right here. This was where uh, Jason High sort of took up shop. Uh, and still, some of the things that, that were here, the, you know, this room hasn't changed any since we first set it up. You know, we've still got the alloy smelter here, although. Uh, Jace is making a lot of bonds in it now. Uh, this has sort of become Jace's base, as opposed to my base. Uh, we've also got a mod called Custom NPCs. So, you know, we, we are populating this world with characters and making it detailed when it comes to lore, when it comes to sort of the direction this world is going to go. We are detailing it out some. And so... This was my shop. Now, we have a rule on this on this world, on this server. Uh, you're not allowed to create dedicated emerald farms. Uh, because we use emeralds as currency. Uh, you can set up a quarry uh, and mine extreme hills and stuff like that to get emerald, which is how we've got the vast majority of our emerald. But I'm not allowed to set up a dedicated emerald farm. So I'm not allowed to set up like a village breeder to dedicated to just making emeralds you know you know it's a case of you know coming across this stuff either naturally or through one of our sort of like quarries or something 
which is how we've got the vast majority of them. But we use emeralds as a currency to sort of dictate which kingdom is the wealthiest. And obviously right now it's me, but I've put more hours into this world. Uh, does it actually say on statistics? Uh, 11 days. I don't know if that's right. Because uh, there's definitely been more time than that played into it. This, this world is over four years old. Uh, so we use emeralds as currency. And this, this was my shop where I sold things. Um, we've got a lot of atomic ammo, some guns. Uh, this connected into my original ME system. Uh, we've got a, a typewriter for a till and this sort of thing. I don't know what this is. Uh, pay there with emeralds, but there's no emeralds in there. And again, just all the things that sort of like my kingdom was producing prior to sort of deciding to remodel it. And that's what I'm, that's what I want to focus this focus at this series on. I want to build like a medieval base, and I want to build a city, but I also want it to house all of the things that it should house. You know, it should house all of the stuff that we want it to house when it comes to when it comes to doing um minecraft especially modern minecraft i want to be able to have all the farms and all the things that i need to to be able to progress through this and so i started thinking about like how i actually wanted to do this and i decided i was going to build a medieval city and this building here is what i've been working on now, i did record the building of this uh, but unfortunately the footage got corrupted uh, we had a power cut that um, just sort of damaged the footage and it also damaged a couple of chunks. If you look over here, these two chunks got completely uh, damaged. I had to go into an MBT editor and delete them manually. Uh, so that's why we've got two of these lands right here. There may be a couple of other chunks that I haven't found yet. Uh, there was also a chunk in Jace's land as well uh, that suffered the same issue that I had to delete. So, um, oh, at least his uh, silverwood tree actually grew. You know. But, um... Oh, you can see my uh, Draconic Evolution. Like I said, I was I was, uh, I was mid to late game in, in this. Uh, and then I started building a new base. And then I was like, you know, this was uh, six months ago when we were playing on this world. And then, um, I, you know, I had a word with them uh, recently about transforming this world and making it something that I do on YouTube. And I was like, yeah, go for it, go for it, you know. They'll be happy to guest star in some episodes as well. Uh, to build up a nice city and then sort of get the world sort of where I want the world to go. So I'm going to spend this first episode introducing the world to you. Sort of going over everything that's happened in this world. So you're caught up to speed in terms of um, where we are. But I want to start with the barracks. So this is the barracks. And I built this as a way to sleep in this world. Because I don't have a bed to sleep in really. I didn't have one. I'm, you know, we have a mod called Morpheus on the server. Uh, or while it's a private world, you know, I can open it to LAN. That's usually how we play over LAN. But, um, I didn't actually have a bed of my own to sleep in. And I thought, okay, so the first thing I'm going to want to be able to do is sleep through the night. You know, I don't want mobs coming after me. So I thought, you know, what, I'm going to, I'm going to build a barracks. And that's kind of where the idea of the first build came from. Was like, what do I need most in this world first? And so the beds are going to go beneath here, aside the windows. Side each window, uh, not underneath it, but to the side of it. And what I've done in here is this is going to be completely filled with beds either side. This is going to be where the men and the troops of my village or town or city sleep. Now, what you'll notice is this is one. Oh, excuse me. A bit of a burp. This is one block off. This one is right against it, and I did that to sort of create a a different sort of like depth i didn't want it to be the same on each side we've got the spruce wood and the chiseled oak planks for the ceiling and this is where the men will sleep now i haven't finished this barracks there's still sort of like the decoration to go in each of these rooms which we'll do on camera you know because i, I want to get into deco craft uh, but i'll talk about why i haven't done that yet and why we're going to be putting that off a little bit to do then we come into here this is the this is one tower this tower is identical to this tower over here and again this room is identical to that room over there so we've got sort of like the hallway room which will also put some storage in here uh, and one of the things that i've decided that i want to do in this world is i want to keep a couple of chests in a build that i build 
And in those chests, we're going to have the building resources that I used to build this building. You know, we're going to have some spruce wood, some of these trap doors, some of these uh, carpenters' fences. You know, we're going to have all that kind of stuff. Uh, the idea being that if at any point a block actually accidentally gets broken or, you know, I don't know, maybe a creeper gets in here somehow and blows it up, then well, I've got the resources in the build to sort of just revamp it. And I'm going to carry that over into pretty much every world that I do. Uh, but if we go into these first towers here where we come into the barracks, it's starting to get night. Uh, this room here is either going to be a kitchen or a bathroom where they, they go to the toilet. And the one on the opposite side is going to be the exact same thing. Uh, well, the opposite. You know, if that one's over there as a bathroom, this one will be the kitchen. You know. Uh, this sort of here, and there's one on the other side. That over there is going to be where it goes onto the wall. So if we go back outside, uh, you can see that the side of this isn't fully done. You know, I've sort of. This is sort of like where we're going to come out onto the wall from from this room in there. And again, where we're coming out onto the wall here. Uh, so I didn't want to do this thing because I don't know how big I'm going to do the wall. I haven't got a wall design in, in mind. So I just sort of left that blank, like a blank canvas. And I figured I could work on that later. Uh, I put my bed away, didn't I? Like I said, first order of business is is getting to sleep in, in a world. And I want to build up from where we would start naturally in a world. But we could do something really grand with this series. You know, I can go over the top like this. Like I have done with this barracks, you know, it looks really nice. I'm really proud of this barracks. I think it's come along absolutely brilliantly. And the vast majority of it, the vast majority of this, and, I, and I'm, I'm not joking, I can't believe this, was first first thing I tried worked. You know, I liked the first thing that I tried. It just sort of flowed together. There were a couple of things, you know, originally I didn't have roofs on here. Then I had sort of like a pointed roof, uh, that like a circular pointed roof that I didn't like. Uh, then I tried this roof and I really liked this. And, you know, I've shown this to, to my wife and my couple of my friends, and my friends think it's brilliant. Uh, my wife doesn't like the fact that I've altered these two roofs, that this one's sideways while this one is frontwards. You know, one runs north to west, the other one runs... Uh, sorry, one runs north to south, the other one uh, runs east to west. You know, but I, I think that just having them going different directions sort of breaks it up a little bit, makes it look a little bit different. You know, but anyway... Uh, let's get back to the tour so you can understand sort of how this how this barracks is going to work from a from a logistics standpoint, from a, a law standpoint, you know. So again, we're going to have a couple of storage rooms down here, um, probably food and stuff, stuff that you would see in a barracks. Uh, we'll have some weapons and armor in here, you know. This is going to be the courtyard. This is where um, the men will train and fight. And uh, I used a um, Swapping one one to put some cracked bricks in to make it look a little bit rugged. I've still got to do that on these, but I've I've misplaced my um my my swapping wand. I can't find it anywhere. Um, so I, I don't know what happened. But the first time I used it, it did a huge patch like this. So I, I've decided that I'm actually going to keep this huge patch here, and I'm going to put like an archery target target here. The idea being that they've shot at the archery targets. I've missed so many times that they've started to crack the stone uh, severely. But yeah. I think the cracked stone make it look a little bit more aged and weathered than it otherwise would. You know, and again, I, I created rules like, you know, we were going <coughs> to, excuse me, this was going to be like a bracer to hold this in place. So you got to imagine that the spruce goes behind this and this is like a bolt holding it in. So I knew that I could use these wherever I use spruce wood. And again, you can see that I offlaid the windows. And it makes it look a lot better, I think. You know, as you can see, uh, this side, it's not against the wall. There's one block, whereas this side it is against the wall. So they alternate the block that's missing. And again, if you look at these crenellations here, I did the same thing here. They're, they're not exactly in line with the other one. As you look, there's a space this side on this one, but not this side. Whereas on the opposite end, there's a space this side and not this side. And I did that on purpose to sort of just make it look different so it didn't look symmetrical you know i was trying to break a lot of the rules that i do when it comes to building in minecraft i tend to i tend to build in minecraft uh, symmetrical and i was i was trying to break that up a little bit so anyway let, let, let's get back into here uh, there's a small mistake on the next one but i've decided to keep it the idea is whoever built this barracks also made the mistake there's two staircases 
that there wasn't supposed to be. This one wasn't supposed to come down this far. And it's an easy job just to take it out. It's a really easy job just to take it out. But I thought, you know what? What happens if when they were building this, they just overlooked that? And I felt that it added some more believability to it and just some more realisticness to it. So here again, you've got another dormitory. And over here, you've got another dormitory. And over here, at the end of the dormitories, you're going to have the captain. This guy who is going to have his own quarters here, he's got two floors to his quarters. As you can see, you can go upstairs. But he's going to be the captain of those men that sleep in this dorm here and the one below it. They're going to be his sort of squadron of the men. And then again, if we go all the way over here, you'll see that we've got the exact same thing going on over here. We've got, yeah, we've got, we've got another room. Again, the exact same. And you can look out sort of like over the kingdom through these windows, which I really, really like. Uh, and again, we'd probably go onto here to go onto the wall, I'd imagine. Is this where? Yeah, this is sort of like where the wall is. So I may have to bring that down one. Uh, just to make it line up and i like that that the, the walls sort of going onto the walls hidden away like that you know and again if we go up here you've got this little uh connection that the two uh, captains would use to go back and forth with you know they'd obviously they'd need a way to get back and forth to one another because obviously they together they oversee all of these men and so they they need a way to communicate a little bit better and then both of them can actually go up a spiral staircase onto the roof. So they can sort of overlook the kingdom, have a cup of tea with each other, and overlook it. Which is what I really, really like. And if you notice, the towers are different heights. You know? These two are the same height, whereas those two get bigger and bigger. Now, this bit here, the idea behind this is, well captains might want to come here and, and just look out but this one was more like they, they'd come out here they'd probably have bets on okay my men can be your men and their men would train against one another they'd have uh, silent bets and stuff like that going on uh, they'd, they'd watch from up here and observe uh, which men are the best and which men are not maybe the better men sleep in the top the not so good men sleep in the bottom you know i don't know i haven't kind of figured that far out yet but then, as we go up here, we'll have another lot, sort of like landing and storage area here, I'd imagine. As we go up to here, you know, you've got the captain's quarters there, and the captain's quarters there. This would be the lieutenant's quarters, the second in command of this barracks. And he would have this here, and then he'd also have his own private quarters up here. And then again... He could, he too, will be able to go on top of the tower and look out over the kingdoms. But again, as you notice, he's the next highest. So we've got the captain's quarters at the lowest section. Then as you sort of go up the chain of command, his quarters get higher up into the sky. Then if we go over here, you know, this guy, this lieutenant here. Actually, let's go back in here so we can go across this. This lieutenant here has access to the general or the officer and he'd obviously need a way to communicate with his chief in command and that guy is over here and this is sort of like the officer whose men in the barracks are the ones under command now the idea is it probably wouldn't be the same officer and captain living in this barracks they may you know this army may go out into the field and a new army may move in i don't know yet i've not sort of decided on how the law works like that but yeah, he's got this. He's got a little um, balcony so he can oversee uh, threats from the enemy. You know, and again, if we go up here, he can... Uh, it's annoying with a jetpack. You know, you go up here, you can actually see out even further over the land with another balcony. And I thought that really added to it. And I just realized that uh, I'm missing a stair right here. <laughs> That's okay. We'll get that at some point. And so if we carry on going further up... He's, of course, got his own tower. And that's kind of like the law from the law perspective. Now, this may not be medievally accurate. This may not be how they would have it. You know, they may not have the high up the chain of command. The officer is the high up in the barracks he is. You know, maybe even the officer didn't stay in the barracks. You know, maybe it was only the men who stayed in the barracks. 
But this is my world and my law, and I wanted to just create some unique law, something that that gave everything a purpose here. It's why I made these towers uneven, you know, they're not the same height. You know, I, I wanted the higher up the chain of command you are, the higher up in the tower you sit, you know. And again, you could take a look at this from all angles. You know, I'm really kind of happy with how this turned out. Really proud of this. And this is sort of going to be our main base to begin with. And we're going to expand out and around this world. You know, we've got... If we take a look at the map, I'm going to use the uh, FTB map. You can see what's our land here. You know, we can claim some more of this if we need to as well. Um, and this is Jace's land. And we have a treaty, you know, we're allied. Jace and I. We're also going to run a river uh, through here. I want to purposely build a river. You know, but I want to, you know, I've never terraformed a river. I've always wanted to and want to try and create something really nice like that. Uh, but I haven't, haven't done that yet. But now we look at um, the next sort of step in this world. And we've got this barracks, but it doesn't have any furnishings, you know. Just have a munch on a golden carrot. Doesn't have any furnishings. You know, it doesn't even have a floor on the ground level, you know. And I was thinking about this, and you can't stack vanilla beds on top of one another. You know, and I thought about just using individual beds, I'd be fine. I'd really like bunk beds if we can. Um, but at the same time, I'm thinking, okay, so being realistic, what would I want to do in this area, you know? How would I want to furnish this, and what could I use this for? And there's two mods that I want to get into. Two mods that I really want to get into. I want to get into at Cooking for Blockheads. Or maybe... Maybe not. Oh, it was a little bit too modern. Maybe Pams? I didn't want to do Pams, but it looks more medieval set, to be honest with you. I didn't want to do this because Jace is getting into this, so I kind of wanted to leave it as his thing, but maybe Cooking for Blockheads isn't the right mod pack to suit a medieval kitchen. You know? But anyway, one of the, the mods that I wanted to use to decorate inside is Deco Craft. Which is this mod here, because we've got these barrels here. Uh, we've got even more beds over here, look. Uh, and I just thought some of these beds would look really cool. You know, some of this thing doesn't lend itself to being medieval, but other parts of it really do. You know, but the trouble with deco craft is to sort of get anything from the mod pack, you need what's called a deco bench. And this is a deco bench here. This right here is the deco bench. And then you, you know, you, you can see it says not enough resources to craft. And what it costs is if we take some cactus green here, uh, we take some rose red, and we take some lapis, and we sort of pop this in the deco bench. You can see it starts to fill up the green, starts to fill up the blue, starts to fill up the red. And now what we can do is we could actually pull from here. You know, so if we scroll through, you know, we can look, there's some of these that we can't. You know, we got a bathroom, bedroom, which is good. A single bed, double bed, double bed brown. You know, we want a single bed and then it puts it there. And let's just grab six of these for now. Oh, and one more thing. This also requires clay here, but I've got a bunch of clay in it. And so, before I can start to furnish the inside of here the way that I want to, I need to get more into DecoCraft, which means I want to create some sort of building that... You know, we could, you know, we can do that, for for example. And maybe I can, um, 
Maybe I could put some pillars or something there that, that would, would help it. But, you know, we can stack these on top of one another. At least like this. Which sort of gives the impression that they're, you know, they're here. Well, maybe, maybe what we can do, thinking about this a little bit more. I believe I've got some trap doors here. Um, no, it doesn't look like I do. No, I don't. Definitely don't want to use those. What if I use some spruce slabs? No, I actually can't put anything there. So maybe we just have to deal with them being like that, at least for now. But yeah, I can, I can get behind that. But that's going to cost me a lot of cactus green, a lot of rose red, and a lot of lapis lazuli. And, you know, for that, I'm going to want a cactus farm. Now, I could just simply throw together a cactus farm. You know, put it underground in my base. But I don't want to. I don't want to do that in this world. So the next build that we do... I might build a cactus shop. You know, the idea would be that we'd have like a little cactus shop. Let's say we have the cactus shop here. Right? Then below it, we'd start building our underground base, which would have the farm itself. And the farm would send it up here. Or maybe we put the farm in the build, you know. I mean, a cactus... Cactus isn't that, that bad. Do I have a... Garden clock. I can't remember. I know the clock isn't spelled the normal way. It's spelled a unique way in immersive engineering. Um, but if we look at cactus, you know, um, we can obviously utilize that, but I don't want to. We can utilize mana infusion, but I don't want to. Uh, so we might utilize this just just the normal way, unless there is like another way to get this. Uh, which it doesn't seem like there is, apart from obviously this cactus. Um, oh, Atomic Reconstructor it is, is a good way. But again, that smelts it. So yeah, so maybe maybe we create a cactus farm in the, in the next episode, you know? Maybe that's something that we that we do. And if we build a little shop that sells cactus and cactus green and all the other stuff that, that a cactus can produce. You know, and if we go over here, uh, this is where I want to put my house. Okay, this is where I want to put my specific house. And uh, I got a random tree here. Okay. And uh, I thought I... I thought I started building down here. Did it spawn like I... Yeah, I did. Look, I started to make my way down and evidently I put a block there. But I want to make a sewer system to go underground here. At, at this level. This is just where I decided to set the levels out. And this would be to have power cables and all sorts going all over, all over. Because I don't want power cables on the surface. You know, I don't want them from immersive engineering. I do want to build a town using immersive engineering uh, stuff and have the cables running. But I think that's sort of a little bit after the medieval city. Um, so I kind of want to hide them underground in the sewer. Because obviously we're going to need uh, power and stuff. Because even though this is medieval, I still want to inclu include some technical stuff into it. Uh, I want to keep the surface looking medieval, but below the surface is where we're going to have most of the stuff. And then about this level here is where I'd like to sort of start our base at, which is Y level 35. So that's probably where we'd build a um, a cactus farm. Somewhere over here, I imagine, you know, this is going to be roughly the entrance to the city. You know, I'm, I'm thinking uh, probably here. Is where we where we do it, you know, somewhere around here. So maybe it's sort of like I put the cactus shop over here. You know, I've got no problem moving this. This was just a temporary tree farm to get the spruce wood I needed for for that. You know. And again, once we've got the cactus farm, we've got to worry about the rose red and the lapis lazuli, and as well, we've got to worry about clay. 
And I've decided that the way I'm going to get clay is through a tree farm. You know, because I need wood. So if I set up a, a tree farm and I utilize a sludge, this is getting me, you know, this, this here, this tree farm is off. You know, this tree farm is, is, is turned off. It's been turned off for some time. But I ran this tree farm for maybe a, maybe an hour, maybe two. And it filled up all of these with sludge. This is six barrels worth of sludge in about an hour. And this is the result of those. And I've already put some of this clay into the deco bench. You know? So, I think this is going to give us enough sludge. Well, the sludge is going to give us enough clay to oversee the deco bench. You know? I don't think we're going to be struggling at all when it comes to that. You know? But, hey, who knows? Maybe we will, maybe we won't. But yeah, I think that's going to call it for this episode, guys. So, if you've enjoyed the video, please do consider leaving a like. It really helps out the channel, and I really appreciate it. So, please do leave that like. And click subscribe if you want to see more from me. Guys, I'm Casey Otto. Thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.